passing a list of values from HTML5 pie chart slice hyperlink. Consider the following requirement. We have a pie chart that displays the number of orders per country. When clicking on a pie slice, we will be drilling down to another chart that displays order details for each city in that country. Report developer can pass different parameters using chart hyperlinks to the drill down reports. One can also pass arrays through that. But what if we need to dynamically construct an array for a multi-select input control? In this example, we are using orders tables from the sample data source, also known as Sugar CRM. Let's take a look at the query. Our query is very simple and it returns all the fields from the orders table. The orders table has fields ship country and ship city that we will be using for this chart. First of all, we will need to create a group on a ship country field. Here I have this group already created. It is a very simple group. We are creating it just to organize the data. Then we will also need to sort the data and we will create a sort field on ship country. Now that our data is grouped and sort, we can try to make ship city field into an array. If we specify an array for the drill down parameter value, the values will be automatically correctly passed through the generated link. So creating an array here is vital. So how can we do that? To do that, we will first create a variable of type string that will have an initial expression of an empty string. We will set the reset type to group, and the, the group will be that group that we created earlier, the group ship country. Now the expression is going to be the here, variable 1 plus a string of comma and plus the ship city. This is going to create us a long uh, string of comma separated ship cities. And these will be grouped by ship country as we have specified here. We will set the calculation to highest so we will also use the biggest possible string for this group. Now here as you can see the initial variable expression is empty and we will be adding a comma here so this string will be starting from the comma and we will have to remember that later. Now let's move on to the chart. This is a pretty simple pie chart that has one category of a ship country and then two measures. First measure is just our regular measure it is a calculation count for the number of orders. We will be just displaying the number of orders for each country. Now the second measure is special. It's the it's a hidden measure. Hidden measure means that we are not going to display it in the chart, but it is going to be in the chart data set. Now here through this measure, we're going to create an array from that string here, variable one that we created earlier. Here's how we can do it through the value expression. We take the variable one, we take the first uh, we start the string from the first symbol and then we split the string into a uh, list of values and create a new array. The value class name needs to be set to object and this is pretty important. Now this measure doesn't have any advanced properties so this is uh, all that's about this measure. So let's go back to measure one and here in the advanced properties we're specifying the hyperlink to another report. The first three properties are all your standard stuff. The hyperlink target is blank. The hyperlink type is report execution. Here's where the second report is going to be located. But here in PCDIS we are going to use the measure value instead of a constant or an expression. And here we specify this cities measure that we defined earlier. And this is how we are going to pass a array through the hyperlink. Okay, now let's take a look at the target report. I have also created it previously here. And this is a very simple report. It just has one column chart. The column chart is also very simple. It is, has only one category, that is a ship city, and has one measure that is the sum of a freight field. It doesn't have any advanced uh, configuration or advanced formatting, so it's a pretty simple chart. 
the only thing that this report has is a parameter called p cities here it's of type java util collection this parameter is going to be used for an input control on the server and so that we can uh, get the values from this report that we have been passing through the hyperlink um, this report also has the query that uses the parameter here in $x in statement here you can see the p series is used so now that we have um, created this report and this report we can um, deploy them to Jasper server here I have the grouping array 2 is the main report the chart 2 is the sub report the target uh, report for the drill down the grouping array 2 is just regular report deployment doesn't require anything else than a data source in the JRXML however the chart 2 requires you to have an input control uh, in this case the PCDs and this is the input control for that parameter I was talking about earlier it is a multi select query input control it, it just gets a list of um, it just gets a list of cities from the table nothing uh, nothing fancy here all standard stuff and let's see how it's uh, all in action so we're gonna run this grouping array 2 uh, report it's our pie chart that we developed here earlier and let's try to click on one of the slices and drill down and see if it all works correctly so here we run this uh, chart to report as you can see here and this is a chart and it shows us uh, the cities in United States, as you can see here, San Francisco, Portland, Seattle, other cities. Here in this um, input control, we have all the American cities selected as expected. If you see here in the URL, we have the uh, P cities uh, parameter repeating all the time. This is how it passes the array um, through the hyperlink. You ha it has to repeat the parameter name and the value as many times as there were these values in that array so as you can see it works properly here let's try to run uh, another drill down let's try Germany and here you see the cities are German, Köln, Berlin, Aachen and others and here's how it passes here too so uh, this is pretty uh, working pretty well let's take another try and here's uh, for France and uh, this is how you can pass the values uh, in an array in a chart uh, in your drill down reports to recap the previous demonstration here are the some uh, important bullet you can pass a single parameter value, but you can also pass the whole array through the uh, hyperlink. Um, if you pass the array, it will automatically unwind into a correct URL and it will not require any additional effort there to create the hyperlink. Before proceeding, uh, it's recommended to prepare your data using a group and a sort field. Using a variable, you can create a string with all the items in the group. So if you have a country and cities, you can create a group on countries and then um, create a string of all the values for the cities field within that group. Using a hidden measure, you can then turn uh, that string into an array through the measure expression. In the other measure that is non-hidden, you can select hidden measure as hyperlink parameter value. And you can download the report from that wiki article uh, linked there. You can import the, uh, it to Jasper server and run the report. Let's see how it's working. Thanks for watching.